The next big Fortnite update just got leaked and today we're going to be going over all the brand new information including new mythic weapons, new vehicles, map changes, free skins and rewards and much more so make sure you guys keep watching this is going to be an insane video. And of course we got to go to the item shop real quick and send our daily gift to a lucky subscriber. We actually did get the anime legends pack finally in the shop but unfortunately Epic will not let me send this as a gift. So if you guys want to receive a gift in a future video all you have to do is drop a like, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on and also leave your epic usernames down below so I can add you and send you the gift. And a big shout out to everyone using code NERP2 in the Fortnite item shop. You guys are absolute legends, so thanks for the support. For Jonesy is our good luck charm for getting wins this season, boys. This is one of my favorite places to land. So in case you guys didn't know, the Fortnite Mirrors and Halloween event for this year in Fortnite Battle Royale is actually going to be ending on November 1st, which is kind of a bummer because this was definitely a shorter Fortnite Mirrors event than we've seen in the past, but this does confirm that we only have about another week and a half before the event's going to be coming to an end. But where it gets interesting is data miners were able to go into the files and the upcoming updates have been added to the staging servers and the 22.35 update has actually started to get play tested already by Epic Games themselves. What up Bunker Jonesy, what you got for me? All right, thank you, sir. This is some garbage loot. We need an AR. Now, what's really interesting to me as well is a few days after FireMonkey found that they were play testing the next update, he also found that they started play testing the 22 2.40 update as well, which means that these updates could be coming a lot sooner apart than the normal update cycle we've seen here in Fortnite. Oh, we cracked them. We cracked them. All right, there's one. Yep, there we go, man. The pumpkin launcher is coming in clutch right now. It's the only weapon we have at a range. Where's all the loot? Normally, we get good loot here, man. Fort Jonesy is disappointing me right now. All right, there we go. Pistol headshots are actually doing the damage. That's what we needed. Now, luckily for us, we already have a pretty good idea of when this update is actually going to be coming out. The fact that Fortnite is breaking their update cycle during the Fortnite Mares event pretty much means that they could be releasing another downtime update in kind of like a part two for the final week of this Fortnite Mares event, which if that is the case, then this 22.35 update should most likely be dropping this upcoming Tuesday for the final week of Fortnite Mares. And along with that, we have all the information found in the Fortnite files for what this update will bring, and it's actually going to be a pretty good sized one that will definitely refresh Fort Nightmare's event and make it a little bit more entertaining. Yeah, man, I'm not really too impressed with Fort Jonesy this time around. We literally have all gray loot. Like, this is the worst possible loot we could possibly have. So first things first, Hypex found in the file saying, planes are set to return next week. Thanks, Venom FNX, for letting me know. And in case you guys don't know what he's talking about, the planes are actually a vehicle that were introduced to us originally here in Battle Royale back in Chapter 1, Season 7, right before the first Winterfest actually went live and uh, yeah man the planes were definitely hit or miss with in terms of feedback here in the Fortnite community but they were pretty fun vehicles that you were able to fly around obviously now with the introduction of vehicles needing gas they'll be a lot more balanced because you won't be able to just infinitely fly around in the sky with them but yes the planes are set to return they are going to have gas and they're probably gonna have very similar functions to when they originally the game where you were able to shoot the machine gun at builds and players to do a little bit of damage and you were able to boost and dodge left and right if people were shooting you. Now where it gets different this time around is actually where you're going to find the plane spawn locations in the first place. Kumar, another Fortnite data miner here in the Fortnite community, tweeted saying the upcoming airplanes in Fortnite have spawn points located on top of the three runway mini POIs found across the map. So all the little floating POIs around the map that we currently have, there's going to be runways added to them and that is where you'll actually be able to find these new plane vehicles spawn points. So there's not going to be too many of them on the map and uh, that means that these airways that are floating are probably going to be pretty big hot drops when these first release which I think will be cool because it spices up the game and adds new vehicles which give us mobility and makes the game faster paced. All right, we're going to go up here, boys. We're going to go up here. We also just found a new land point. I'm pretty sure I've been here before, but okay. But we need to come up here because there is a vault of some sort somewhere around here. Where is it? 
Oh, okay, here it is. All right, all right. So we can get a better AR or we can get a better submachine gun, man. I don't know. This is tough. We still have a gray sub, which is why I kind of want to take this, but I don't really know. We're going to play it safe. We're going to do what we usually do, and we're going to get a better AR, man. That's usually our most used weapon. So the more damage we have there, the better. Now, Hypex also tweeted out saying that there won't be too many drastic changes to the Fortnite Mares event itself, other than some new vehicles and things added to the game. But in this tweet, he says, trust me, it won't change drastically other than planes unvolved and maybe the broom mythic returning too since Fortnite mares is set to end on november 1st this does confirm that there is a possibility that the witch's broom mythic from the last Fortnite mares event could make its way into the game as another form of mobility here when the planes also get unvaulted which i think would be pretty cool man it's just one more mythic weapon to have in game and it's something that just speeds up the game and makes rotating around the map a little bit easier what are you doing pace and fitness i don't know what this guy was doing but we take it I'm so dead. Bro. Oh my god. Dude, why is there so many people over here? Oh my- Dude, how are we alive? How are we alive? We just took out three enemies with like no HP. Oh my goodness. That was clutch, man. That was clutch. We really did outplay that guy right there. Look at the loot these dudes had as well. Like this is some good stuff. Oh my goodness. Yep. We got a legendary AR shotgun and submachine gun. We have no excuses here, boys. We should dominate this lobby. Now, for those of you guys that don't remember what the mythic brooms did, it was essentially like an ability that just boosted you straight up into the air and then you would ride the broom as if it was your glider. So it was literally just used to rotate and get around the map. There's no damage or weapon abilities with it, which is why I think it'd be a really cool little subtle change. And obviously it would just make the game feel more Halloween-y too with witches brooms spawning around the map. Now on top of that, we also have the mysterious Chrome Punk quest challenges and free rewards that were also found in the beginning of the Fortnite Mares event. But up until this point, we don't actually have a set in stone release date on when they're going to be coming. So it does make sense that if the 22.35 update came out this Tuesday, that would be a perfect chance for them to release these challenges which in case you guys didn't know these quests are new challenges that were found in the fortnite files that actually allow you to earn a free skin and two other free rewards as well which is really really cool i'll throw those rewards up on the screen but we have the chrome punk skin and then we also have the graveyard rave loading screen and the chrome seed back bling and the three challenges that you need to complete in order to unlock all of these rewards is based around leveling up your account so if you level up 10 times you get the back bling. If you level up 25 times, you get the loading screen. And then after getting 50 levels when these challenges come out, you will unlock the skin for free as well. So like I said, we don't know when this is going to be coming out. It is confirmed going to be dropping sometime this season. So the 22.35 update is literally a perfect time for it to drop. Now on top of this, it was also leaked in the files that there is a possibility that Spider Gwen could get her own mythic ability here. And the Spider-Man web shooters could be returning. But this time it would obviously be themed around Spider Gwen, which is really, really cool. Oh, I'm sorry, man. That guy got lasered. There's really nothing he could have done about that. Fortnite recently just updated the spider web shooters in the files. So that's why people are assuming that they could be returning as a spider Gwen mythic since although spider Gwen is the tier 100 skin that we're able to unlock this season, she doesn't have an NPC and we also don't have her mythic abilities anywhere, which is a little bit weird. So yeah, the 22.35 update or maybe even the 22.40 update that also got play tested could be when the web shooters do return because although we do have the grapple glove in game i think it's safe to assume that we all agree that the web shooters just feel a lot better man they're a lot more organic the uh like the the way the character moves around when using them is also a lot more fluent and it just feels a lot better and more fun to use than the uh web shooting gloves that we have right now oh he's weak that guy's weak oh Bro, that boulder just smashed my head. Oh my gosh. I hate these things, man. They're so scary. I don't know where these guys are at. I'm kind of just shooting rockets everywhere. I don't really know why. Where are they, though, for real? There's two guys left. Are they hiding? Oh my... Dude, he was behind me. He was actually behind me. How did he get behind me like that? That was literally... Dude, that was terrifying, actually. Oh my goodness. All right, well, now it's a 1v1, and now I'm really paranoid because this guy could be anywhere. Behind me, too, I guess. Oh, there he is. I see you down there, good sir. 
Yeah, I, I respect that he was trying to be aggressive there, but you don't just pull up on me like that, dude. If I hit the shot with a legendary shotgun, it's literally GG. There we go, boys. That was a pretty solid game. 10 eliminations. Now, as of right now, those are the only new additions and bigger changes coming if this update does roll out this upcoming week for the midway point through the Fortnite Mares event. On top of that, some subtle bug changes, glitches, and patches will roll out as well. But if this does not end up coming out this next week, then this is probably going to be an update that Fortnite ends up saving until November 1st when Fortnite will kind of transition back into normal Battle Royale and get ready to prepare for the Winterfest event coming in December. But that's all I got for you guys today. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, my friends.